Kislev, the motherland. One of the key pillars holding chaos at bay is stuck in an eternal winter, and a civil war between the Ice Court and the Great Orthodoxy is on the rise. Tsarina Katerin, our legendary lord, needs to unite these lands and drive chaos back, or else Kislev will be lost, and the old world will surely follow. With the marauders at Gerzlev routed, we need to turn our attention to Grigor and the Ropsman clan. They have turned their back on the Ice Court and joined with our main rivals, the Great Orthodoxy. They have captured settlements around the Eastern Oblast that we need to get back on the path to our current goal, the city of Prague. We must take the cities of Igorov, Volksgrad, and Fort Chukova, amassing a loyal legion as we go. First to fall is Igorov. With such a small garrison, victory comes quickly to Katerin's forces. Fort Jakova comes next, also ill-prepared to face the wrath of the Ice Court. Volksgrad, isolated within the Oblast as the last remaining Ropsman stronghold, falls easily, even with assistance from Grigor himself. With the Eastern Oblast under our banner, only Prague remains. A strong faction, however, cannot rely on militaristic might alone, and needs those who currently reside under our flag to stay in line. Assigning an Ataman to govern the area in our Lord's absence can ensure that public order, even in these darkest days, is maintained. The dilemmas Katerin can face can be handled by these Atamans, allowing us to continue our campaign unimpeded. They will fall! Bloodied after the damage dealt from losing the Eastern Oblast, the Ropsman clan show no signs of surrender and hold on to Prague till their very last breath. The Ropsman clan's defense fails, and the city of Prague is ours. With Prague under the Ice Court's flag, we can now focus on uniting the Kislevites within Troll Country. To help divide and conquer, we'll train a new Ice Witch through the Ice Court, Katerin's unique feature for training new heroes and lords. With a new army under our wing, we can seek to unite Kislev while defending ground already taken. But while Katerin may try to solve Kislev's problems, the ruinous powers won't stay still forever. Kugath Plaguefather, Lord of Nurgle, spreads his foul forces of pestilence into the Eastern Oblast. We'll send Katerin out to stem the tide of Nurgle's forces and drive out chaos. Battle is not without its casualties, but the Plague Father's forces are removed from the Eastern Oblast. Despite the victory, now is not the time for respite. The forces of Khorne have moved in on Prague, looking for more skulls for the Skull Throne. The cursed city's strategic importance means we cannot let it fall. The battle will be a major challenge to Katerin's ability as a commander. To try and maximize our army's ability, we'll head into the Devotion tab, invoke the Kislevite god Tor, and dedicate this battle to them. Invocation in place, we march on Prague to the defense of our people and in the name of our gods. Our forces are stretched thin, which Scarbrand knows. Getting hasty and impatient for blood, he separates his forces into two, one team, 
with himself leading the charge at one gate with a small vanguard and another team with siege towers to try and wear both sides thin should they need to reinforce one another. South Gate just holding, Catherine rushes to the West Gate, currently waning under the ferocity of Scarbrand. Although facing one of Korn's most ferocious generals in one-on-one -on -one combat is suicide, a true leader will do what they can for their land. She gets his focused attention, alleviating the pressure on the Tsar Guard. With newfound vigor, they swarm Scarbrand, weakening him and thus his forces too. Routed, Scarbrand leaves the battlefield, knowing his forces have lost this day. The battle is arduous, and not without cost and casualties, but Prague still stands. Tsarina Katerin has proven herself a worthy leader and defender of the people. With chaos put at bay for the meantime, we once again turn back to the people of Kislev as we try to unite the motherland under one banner.